Hi, it's Martin W. Ball, your Kangen Water Guy. Today, talking about a challenge that some people have, and that's a slow flow or a blockage from the source water getting to the ionizer. Sometimes the water just flows out the bottom pipe and nothing out the top. Sometimes I don't get anything at all. And I'm gonna talk you through a process of elimination to help find out what's going on. Now I've also got the Enagic pre-filter kit because this tends to happen usually when there's also a pre-filter involved. One of the things to be aware of is that when this is connected to the tap, very much like this here, the water will tra travel through and it will go into the pre-filters. The first thing it will do it, is it will go through the first one, it will then come through and go through the second. Now if these are full, as in they've done their limit of filtration, the water might not be able to channel through and go then into the ionizer. So we've got to go through this process of elimination where we're actually starting from what's happening between here and here before going into the ionizer. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to show you exactly where to start. The first one is always going to be with your diverter, whether you've got the big plastic one or whether you've got this one. So what I'm going to do is first of all is remove the diverter and, and the diverter is basically separate so the bottom part here on the screws and what you'll notice is is that there's a hole there that means the water can channel through out the tap as normal so it would come out straight up there when you turn the diverter the water now can't come out the bottom it has to go through this point so as you can see here there's a hole which means the water is going to flow through the pipe well, what I recommend you do, and you're probably going to need grips for this, and just be careful you don't damage the thread. So just get on and just turn that until it becomes loose. And then take this out and make sure that this is all clear. Now, what you can actually do is you can put this on to the tap and run your water. I wouldn't advise turning your water pressure on by a lot but just put it on gently and make sure that when the diverter is put in that way so it's coming out to go to the ionizer, that the water is coming out. I have actually seen debris blocked in these holes in here, in here. That's actually been blocked in there and once I've cleaned it out, the water's flown through. So that's why I always say start here. You can't get this the wrong way around. This one's got a rubber here, so you're gonna screw that in place and then naturally you're gonna to need to tighten that up. So just using the round part of the pliers in this example, I'm just gonna just nip it. There's no need to go any tighter than that. It's got a rubber washer on it, it's gonna be fine. So we now know that this is clear, you can do some blowing through it. Everything's all good, I can feel that. I'm gonna put that all back together. So if this is fine, the next stage is, well, I know that this is gonna be flowing water through. So if we were using, and this is where it's really important, if we were using the pre-filters, and I'll get straight to it if you're not using pre-filters after. If we're using the pre-filters, what I'd recommend you do is I'd recommend you undo the first filter, and then you run the water through slowly. If the water's pouring through this fine, happy days. There's no blockage then in the pipe. Okay, remember that's another part. Has anything come into the pipe and blocked it? There's no blockage in the pipe, the water's coming through there. So we know now that we can put this filter back in place. The next part is the second filter. So turn the water back on, does it flow through here and does it come out there? Yes, it does, fantastic. So we put this other filter on. We then check, this is, this is undone from the bottom of the ionizer. We then check, turn the water on and make sure it's coming out here. If it's not coming out here, there's a blockage between there and there. If it is coming out, we're then looking at the ionizer. Now, the best thing to do with the ionizer, if I just move this out of the way, would be to lay the ionizer down gently and unscrew the inlet hose from the bottom and just make sure nothing is around that area. If you can't see anything and it looks clean, the best thing to do is put it back together and contact Enagic and let them know I've got a problem. Your other thing to be aware of as well is your filter. Now with the K8, we're very fortunate. In fact, I've got the power off, so bear with me a moment. 
we're very fortunate that we have the ability to check the filter by coming down and going to filter check and as we can see this is a brand new filter anyway so it's very in its early days but as you can see that everything's fine your filter might need replacing in your ionizer that's another process of elimination when did you change it if you haven't changed it within six months uh, 12 months or 6,000 liters of water whichever comes first your ionizer all the ionizers count the amount of volume through so the 6,000 liters but only the K8 counts the time so if you've had your filter in for longer than 12 months it's guaranteed that you need to change that because it will start breaking down so the important part here is is just that process of elimination so one of the things if you don't have a pre-filter and you just have the white pipe going straight into there unscrew it from the bottom of the ionizer make sure you don't lose any bits i always recommend putting the plug in in the in the sink turn the tap on gently is the water th flowing through the pipe if it is we know it's something that's going on in the ionizer if it isn't flowing through the pipe we know we need to do that process of elimination where i took this apart that's what you would need to do by checking through it all and that's the way to find out whether there's something going on it's usually a blockage in this part or it's something to do with the filters but as i said if it's in the ionizer everything else the water flow to the ionizer is fine you're going to need to contact in and have a chat with them so i have i have faith basically that this has been of value to you and i look forward to educating you further thank you so much for your time go and have yourself a tremendous day and bye for now enjoying my youtube channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive further value